you guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i finally have an update to my palettes on the chopping block series so um i don't even know how many updates i've done on this project but it hasn't been you know very often um i'm just <laughs> i just put this lipstick on because it's in my shop my stash and i'm worried it's gonna get all over my teeth so we'll see um Yes, but back to this. <laughs> I have taken notes here and I hope that I haven't already shared these with you because this is my um, chopping block box and there was only two palettes left in it. So I think what happened is I don't have the palettes anymore that I did decide to declutter because I had a bag of like declutter products that I just kept adding to and I gave it to my cousin last time I saw her because her daughters like to play with makeup so I was like just take <laughs> the whole bag so I unfortunately I don't have them anymore but doesn't matter because I'm declaring them and they're probably all ancient and don't exist anymore so okay I <laughs> let me understand what's going on here what did I do I guess I got rid of them. Yeah, so the only two that are still in here, I think what happened now that I'm remembering it, I think I also let my other cousin who was here visiting, I think I let her go through this and I was just like, take whatever you want. So that's why I only have two left, I think, because I didn't take notes on them. Anyway, the BoxyCharm Pure um, palette I will be decluttering. Spoiler alert, I'm, I'm going to declutter these two that are left in here because I haven't once thought about them and I don't need them. So <laughs> the BoxyCharm Pure. I actually did like this palette. It was in, I think, yeah, my Panda's Eyeshadows project. Um, it looks like this. It's just neutral pink shades with like a blue and a purple. You know, not very different from other pure palettes. But I'm ready to pass this on. It's very old. I don't need it in my collection. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I am more excited to reach for. So I will be decluttering this one. And the other one is the Laura Lee Party Animal. I have never used this palette, but it's time to let it go. I was only keeping it because I didn't have any other palettes like this. I actually still don't to this day have like a neon theme palette, but I realized that's because I don't like those palettes. That's not my style, so I'm not going to go out and buy a neon palette. I don't think unless it's maybe Odin's eye or somebody that I just like have to try the formula but I already know I haven't heard good things about this formula um, this palette doesn't exist anymore I think this palette was released like very early on when Laura Lee started a brand so it's probably not even the same formula that she has today so I don't need this like when am I going to reach for these shades? And I'm sure I do have shades like this, just in different palettes as pops of color, not like a neon theme palette. So I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I'll pass that one on. So what else was in here? I did keep my ColourPop Semi Precious. I don't know if I shared that already. And I have notes. I said I love the look I did with the first half of the palette. The shimmers picked up on a brush and blended nicely into each other. And it's a standalone palette for me. If I want to do an all shimmer look. Do I still do I have that right here? I would like to show it. I did give my cousin the Kylie Burgundy palette. So I don't have that one anymore. That was just not... Like, I don't need that palette. It's not even her formula that she has today. I don't really care to support Kylie Cosmetics. And it wasn't that great of a palette. So, <laughs> at least she, my cousin seemed to like it. So, she has it now. Um, I also, 
Um, yes, I think she took the co the Pure Cosmetics Buff Collection. That was a like an exact dupe of the Naked Three, so it's very like light pink shades. I just I don't care. I don't care for like dupe palettes and also that brand like I don't even know if it still exists that was like I think I got that palette in like the second boxy charm box that I ever received which was like a long long time ago so I didn't need that I did declutter my studio makeup palette I said I loved the eye look but there was so much glittery fallout yes I remember that now so that brand was like a palette I found at Winners, which is TJ Maxx if you're in the States. And it was like a cool tone purple kind of theme. And I really liked it when I first got it, but I think it was expired because the shimmers became very dry and crumbly and there was a lot of fallout. So I got rid of that one. My Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless. I think my cousin took that one too. Um, I don't remember anything about it. I don't even think I used it that much, unfortunately. Um, I also passed on the Rare Beauty, the mini palette, because it had a glitter shade in the middle and not the kind of glitter that I like. Like, it didn't have like a, a smooth base where it would stick to your lid. And it also just was a like a very basic color story so I didn't need that one. Um, the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit. I put that back so okay I it appears that I just didn't take notes on certain things <laughs> which is annoying because the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit palette I still have it so I must have liked it although I didn't say why I kept it but I still have that one I'll show you. Oh, I remember this now. I'm pretty sure I shared this with you already. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Remember this? <laughs> Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit. This is um, like the purpley one with a pop of kind of peachy orange. And I remember saying in a video that I loved the shade. So I really hope I haven't filmed this already and I'm just forgetting because that could be very possible. I also kept my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. I said the formula blends itself and has all my favorite tones and can be a standalone for an all matte look. Okay, I don't remember anything about that, but okay, I kept that one. Okay, I don't know where it is um, and I can't pull out all my palettes right now because if we're <laughs> my desk, it's not a desk, it's a fold out table that I'm filming on. Um, but apparently I kept it, so it should be around here somewhere. Anyway, it was like the very old version that had the plastic packaging, and yeah, so I kept that one. So, the box is empty now, and what I like to do is have 10 palettes in this box, and whenever I do my makeup, I roll what palette to use with my, um, random whatever it's called, random number thing. So that's what we'll do again. So I'll do that off camera because I use my, I actually roll for these palettes, but I don't select them if I know like I wouldn't declutter them, if that makes sense. So I will do that off camera and I'll be back to show you what palettes I chose. Okay, I am back with my 10 palettes. I did find, <laughs> My Viseart Neutral Matte, in case anybody was wondering, it's this one that I was talking about. So I'm keeping this one. And then here's my box of 10 palettes. And let's just go through them quickly. So the first one you may remember from my deck of panning project, the Queen palette from Eloise Beauty. I had wanted to use this five times, but it just didn't happen. I used it twice and I did, I think I liked both the looks, but I didn't love them. So I would like to see if I need to keep this palette. It is like a pretty jewel tone color story, but I do have some more 
exciting palettes in my collection. So there's that one. This one, um, so some palettes I pull in this project because I've never used them before and I honestly don't know if I'll love them. So this is um, from Beauty Bakery. It's the Proof is in the Puddin eyeshadow palette. I got this in an Ipsy. And if I remember correctly, it's just very boring. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> this. Um, I guess neutral leaning warm tone browns, which I like, but how many palettes like that do I really need? So unless this is a great formula, I might consider decluttering this one, but well, we shall see. Um, then I actually pulled this one, the TARDIS Pro. And this is a very old palette now in my collection. I haven't used it much, but I don't remember it being like anything extraordinary. It's all matte except for these four shades. And these four shades are not like very like metallic or special. So I'll have to revisit this one and see how I feel. I also have a lot of Tarte palettes and I feel like they do a lot of the same shades, so I probably don't need this one. Um, then this Violet Boss All of You Forever, I have never used before. And it actually looks really pretty. Um, it's like a warm tone palette with some green and kind of burgundy-ish shades, I guess. So I'll have to see about this one. I do tend to like Violet Voss palettes. I have a lot of them because they always come in Ipsy's, but I've never used this one. Um, then I have a Pure palette. This is my Pure uh, Raw Beauty Christie collab that I've actually never used because it just has never been pulled. It's very pretty. It has a colorful side and then a more neutral side. And I love these kinds of tones. I'm just not sure um, if I need to keep this. I don't know. Also, it's a collab. It was limited edition. There was a fiasco around, around getting this palette. Um, so yeah, but if it's, if I really end up liking it, I'll keep it. Um, this is another palette I found at Winners. This is from the brand Clara Cosmetics. I think I once looked it up and it's an Australian brand if I'm not mistaken. This is the palette number one and I got this because look at these pretty fall tones. This has always been like my fall palette, although I haven't used it much. I just call it that because of the shades. So unless this is amazing, I might declutter it. Um, I have a lot of these shades and other palettes. I just like the color story of them together in this one. I have a, another Tarte palette, the Tartlet in Bloom. This I don't think I've ever used. Yeah. It does not look used. Um, it's just another very basic palette, so we'll see. It's very old. Well, it's not that old, considering it's the Tartlet in Bloom. Like, I didn't buy it when it first came out, but it's still older, you know, on the market. So, also, it's just very beige. <laughs> so, we'll see if I really like this one. Same with this Pure Soiree Diaries. This is from Ipsy. It's another very brown tone palette. So again, how many of those do I need? This looks like I've used it already. So, and I kept it, so I must have liked something about it. Another Violet Voss palette. This is the Essentials. This was in also my pan those eyeshadows project and I do remember liking it but do I need it? That's really the question because I don't have room for all these palettes to be honest. So there's that one. We'll revisit this and see if I really need to keep it. And the last palette is actually new to me, my Fenty Beauty number four. I got this in an Ipsy and this is the Rose 
um, palette. I was gonna say quad, but there's actually six shades in these. Why I can't open this. Actually, it looks really pretty. It's like a pink tone palette. I mean, it's called Rose, so. I probably will not declutter this one, just from the way it looks, um, but we'll see. Actually, these palettes don't have the best reviews, so it might not be good, but I really like the colors in that one. So yeah, those are my 10 palettes. So what I do, like I said before, when um, every time I do my makeup, I roll for what palette to use, and then if it ends up being these ones, because I also have palettes in my Pan Those Eyeshadows <laughs> project and in my Shop My Stash, so I don't know. Whenever I get around to these, once I have an update, I will film an update video, and that's how this project goes. So I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!